Before you follow the video, make sure that you download the appropriate TrueRib for your Samsung Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge or S6 Edge Plus. So all you have to do is, is to go to TrueRib.me. Once you have entered here, press on Devices. Then from here, type your... Just like that. No need to add serial number. So if your phone is, for example, S6 Edge, then click on that. Then scroll down, and then you should find the download links for the various of model number for S6 Edge. So in my case, it is SMG 925F, and I will be picking this one. Then from here, press on .img.tar then press download and that should do it don't forget to subscribe and press the notification icon hello guys this is Sekhan Dinawin today I'm gonna show you how to install S8 port on Samsung Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge. All of the models that supports this port is going to be on description below. Now moving on on your device, make sure that you go to the settings, then scroll down until you find about device, then hit on software info, then tap build number seven times until you see developer option has been enabled. Now if you go back you will see developer option. Click on that and make sure that OEM unlocking is checked. But if you don't see OEM unlocking then no worries it is by default enabled. Once that is done connect our phone to the computer using a USB cable. So give me a moment here. So. Press allow, then on your computer, so on your computer open up the file, then on your internal storage make sure that you drop the following file, so supersu and also the custom ROM already put it so I'm not gonna put it again so once that is done close the window and disconnect the USB cable now what you have to do is on your phone shut it down simply by holding power button then press power off once that is done hold volume down button home button and power button simultaneously until you see the warning sign. Now press volume up button to access the download mode. Now connect your phone using a USB cable again and now on your computer what you have to do is is to launch Odin. Now right click and run as administrator. Now you should see this blue bar, if not then the link is going to be on description below on how to download Samsung USB drivers. Then you have to restart your computer or laptop, then you should see this blue bar. Now press on AP and then locate your Turbo file. Press open. Now simply press start. Now once it shows the pass sign, press exit and close the window. Now your job on the computer is done. So let the phone boot itself, then we'll show you the next step. So now what you have to do is, is to shut down your phone, just remove the cable. So shut it down.
so now what you have to do is is to press volume up button and home button and power button simultaneously until you see so release power button I should see to web recovery now from here press on wipe then press advanced wipe then check Delvic Art Cache system data and cache no need to check their internal storage or USB storage once that is done swipe across and let it do its job so once that is done now what we're gonna do is is to press back now go back then press on install now scroll down and you should find super su press on that and swipe across once that is done now go back then click on the stock ROM which you have tracked I mean the custom ROM which you have tracked on your phone so click on it then swipe across now press next so tick the agree and press next next then here you can choose either to keep your files or the apps or not or you can just do the clean salt which I prefer to have the optimal performance and battery life now here you can check your model number in my case it is SMG 925F so I'm gonna click the second one then press next then you can pick any of these add-ons I'm just gonna skip that through then here you might have to click on some sub so so edge features game tools gear and every Android wear support gear support So you can enable the volt if you want. I don't use it in Dubai, so not necessary for me. Sands alive, VPN support, cuts to calibrate your battery and fix the inverted screen. Secure folder, yes, that is very important for things which you might want to hide it from your family and friends, if you know what I mean. Now moving on, we'll see some main apps. So you can enable Bixby if you want, always on display. I'm just going to disable Bixby because I don't see any point of installing that when the actual functionality is not released. So I'm just going to wait until a new update came, comes. So check Samsung Browser, Calculator Calendar, Clock, Galaxy App Store, Music App, My Files, Samsung Weather, Smart Manager, and yeah that's basically it so I'm just gonna press next then here it shows do you want to enable fingerprint always on display yes cool feature but may break deep sleep so I'm just gonna press no select the camera you prefer I prefer the s8 port camera so choose sound mode I'll choose this sock so do you want to install Divine beat sound. I'm just gonna. I don't need that. So font, sock, and images. You can choose the iPhone edition. So your option there. So just leave your phone alone.
Once it's done, press next. Now press wipe cross, then swipe cross, then press reboot system. phone to boot up normally it may take three to five minutes so be patient for the time being so I'm just gonna quickly do the settings so just give me a moment So you can always update from here and this is from directly from the direct developer itself so if there's any updates the updates will come here directly so you don't have to use your computer at all.